None of those church fathers for the first 300 years, listen to what I'm saying, none of those church fathers for the first 300 years of church history inferred a Nicene Trinity from this. Can you imagine? <laughs> 300 years. People like Clement of Rome. Polycarp. Origin. Even Tertullian, who died 240 AD. Tertullian, who dubbed or coined the term Trinitas, which was later translated into Trinity. He was a subordinationist. He believed the hierarchy within the different persons of the Godhead. No one spoke about the Holy Spirit being God, co-equal and co-eternal and independent with the Father and the Son in the first 300 years. That discussion is completely gone. No one spoke about the Holy Spirit being God, co-equal and co-eternal and independent with the Father and the Son in the first 300 years. That discussion is completely gone. No 
John spoke about the Holy Spirit being God, co-equal and co-eternal and independent with the Father and the Son in the first 300 years. That discussion is completely gone. Which church father for the first 300 years explicitly mentioned that the Holy Spirit is co-equal, co-eternal with God? from the Bible on the Holy Spirit is God. Now, here's what I don't understand. If you take someone like Tertullian or something like this and say, who calls the Holy Spirit God? And the question then becomes, well, when did he say he's co-equal or co-eternal? What do you think God, what do you think these guys mean when they say the Holy Spirit is God? What do you think the Bible means? The Bible calls him eternal. What do you mean, co-eternal? If he's eternal, then he's obviously co-eternal with the Father. So I'm not under, it's like, it's like saying, if I tell you I am the current president of the United States, and you say, aha, but where, where are you claiming to be Donald Trump? Well, if I claim to be the current president of the, of the United States, I would be claiming to be Donald Trump, right? I don't have to say that other thing, right? So if you say so-and-so is God, or so-and-so has the attributes of God, it just doesn't make it just doesn't make sense to say well where is he co-equal with the father or co this these are one minute these left. are terms these are terms this is language that was used in later councils to clarify right to clarify i mean i could turn right around and say where does the quran say that the quran is eternal well, that's a conclusion you draw, right? That's a conclusion you draw from various things that the Quran says. It doesn't say that, right? You have to interpret it that way. I don't understand why you can say, okay, well, the Bible says that the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God, the Son is God, and therefore, as far as, the essence, the, as, far as their essence, they're all God, they're all Yahweh, and therefore, in that sense, they are co-equal. So what you have is later church fathers saying, okay, if they all share the same essence, then in that sense, they're co-equal. Why, why would you expect Sounds someone in the first century to use a word that came about to clarify something in the fourth century? Thank you very much, Dr. Wood.